Welcome to today, Chef Jess Thomas. Oh, making something good. Fall is here, which means comfort food time. She has a recipe for a Creole chicken pie. Hey all, it's Jess. Creole chicken pot pie is gonna be one of your fall favorites. So let's get started. First, we're going to melt some butter. And to that, I've chopped up some bell peppers and onions. I'm gonna add that as well as some dried thyme leaves. We're gonna stir that together until it is golden brown. Then I'm gonna add all-purpose flour, Creole seasoning, salt, and black pepper. After stirring that all together, we're going to add our milk. I'm also putting in some chicken broth. I'm gonna let that simmer over medium-low heat until thick. To save some time, we're going to add some frozen mixed vegetables and cooked chicken. You could take rotisserie chicken and slice it up or chop it up, or you can poach chicken ahead of time. That's what I do and keep it in the freezer. I usually buy my chicken in bulk, poach it, chop it up, keep it in the freezer so it's quick and easy for any time. Now time for the crust. I'm actually using Ina Garden's perfect pie crust recipe. Before I had a food processor, I actually always used a frozen crust for the bottom and then a refrigerated one for the top. So after filling in the bottom of your pie crust, put your top one on, trim the edges, and then crimp the edges for a nice pretty look. I'm topping it with more Creole seasoning. If you wanna get fancy, whisk an egg, brush that on top before the Creole seasoning. Now to prevent any burning from overflowing, I put aluminum foil on my cookie sheet. I've placed my pie on that cookie sheet so that way there are no burns on the bottom of my oven. It's at 425 for about 35 to 40 minutes. Check it because your oven may be different than mine. I'd love to see your creation. You can find me on Instagram at Just Soul Food. I've got lots of tips for you. Thanks so much for watching.